Good morning and a warm welcome to Morning Prayer on this sixth Sunday of Easter at St George's Anglican Church, Paris. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 73, verses 21 to 28. Um, today we have some uh, roses from the church garden. Um, uh, roses, I think, um, are uh, a beautiful metaphor for Christian living because no matter where they are up to, um, uh, just as tightly filled buds um, uh, or uh, as um, blousy, overblown uh, uh, heads coming to the end of their life, they are always um, exquisite. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by, de as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Psalm 73 when my heart became embittered and I was pierced to the quick, I was but foolish and ignorant. I was like a brute beast in your presence. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing upon earth that I desire in comparison with you. Though my flesh and my heart fail me, God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. Truly, those who forsake you will perish. You will put to silence the faithless who betray you. But it is good for me to draw near to God. In the Lord God have I made my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. Holy God, may we find wisdom in your presence and set our hope not on uncertain riches, but on the love that holds us to the end in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. A reading from the first letter of to the Thessalonians, chapter 4, beginning to read at the 13th verse. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. 
For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore encourage one another with these words. Death is swallowed up in victory, where, O death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Let us pray therefore today for its the day and its tasks, for the world and its needs, and for the church and her life. O God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.